Hi guys, I'm gonna put a little uh, video together on everything you need to make an off-grid solar system or an efficient off-grid solar system. So it's gonna be a brief run-through. I'll make further videos on maybe more detailed explanations of what everything does. So firstly, we got the solar panels. What they do is they convert the sun's energy, um, which is high frequency waves, into a charge tension or a voltage. All right, well, besides the wires, and the wires carry that voltage tension to what we have called a charge controller. This particular charge controller is an MPPT charge controller. Um, all that means is that it's efficient in converting the sun's energy to a voltage that the batteries like. Um, what it does is it's technically a voltage regulator. Um, if you bring your solar panels in at 100 volts, or if you bring your solar panels in at 18 volts, which would depend upon if you hook up your solar panels in series or parallel, this will take whatever voltage you provide it, as long as it's in the specs, which is in the data sheet or on the side here, and it'll convert it to um, uh, a nominal voltage, so it'll be a very standard voltage. This one in particular is set at 48 volts. So if I if my solar panels are outputting a voltage of 100 volts, the 100 volts comes into here, and out of it comes 48. If the sun gets uh, behind some clouds and my solar panels are only putting out 50 volts, well this thing takes that into account. It'll take in 50 volts and output 48. So it's a nice stable level voltage it produces. Another important thing to make sure you include in your off-grid solar system is right here I have my wire coming from my voltage, my hotline coming from my solar panels. It goes through a DC breaker. That's critical. I should have said that before the charge controller. What it does is it gives me a disconnecting means so I can separate the solar panels from the rest of my system. And it also is an overcurrent protection where if too much electricity or current was flowing through this line, it would shut itself off. That comes into the charge controller. And also out of the charge controller, I have another breaker. It's it's at a different current level because higher currents will be coming um, out of this charge controller just off of what it does. It, it, it regulates voltage and there I potentially could have higher currents. And then out of this goes to a bus. All the bus does is just let me um, connect a battery bank. Here I have a battery disconnect. It's rated for DC and AC. I'm using it for DC current and that goes to my battery bank which is right here. This is another essential part of a backup so, uh, solar system, um, off-grid. I have a 48 volt DC bank, which makes the currents lower. Low currents equal um, smaller wire size, so it saves money if you have a higher voltage, although higher voltage does get more dangerous to work around. Um, next thing in a solar system um, that is required is an inverter. The inverter is an essential part in converting the DC to AC. So solar panels make something called direct current. This thing, what it does is it takes that direct current and it oscillates it in a sine wave pattern so your house and your appliances and your lights can use it because in America, everything is at 120, 240 split phase. Um, this particular one outputs 120, so it only outputs one phase. Um, in my particular inverter, I have an inverter control panel. This isn't necessarily necessary to use it, but it gives you a whole lot more features and functions in this Outback inverter. Um, another thing is I have um, uh, a breaker for um, sending voltage out of this inverter. Um, this inverter has its own regulators and it'll fault out if it gets too high, but I like to have current protection on every line and this current protection will be fed back to a main breaker panel. So again, just some key components you're gonna to wanna to have in an off-grid system. You need batteries, some place to store the energy. You need disconnects and breakers so you can isolate um, the, like here is my battery disconnect to isolate my battery power. Breakers for overcurrent protection so you don't melt your wires. You need con conductors, copper or aluminum, copper's better. You need an inverter so you can take the kind of electricity or current, DC current from the solar panels and convert it to AC. Charge controller isn't absolutely essential, but in most applications, 
it is very much needed um, especially when you have solar panels like mine that are greater than the battery level. If your solar panels are outputting like mine are 100 volts, um, you need this component, a charge controller, so you can get that voltage to the level that your batteries um, will be charged at appropriately. And that is everything you need besides the breaker panel and hooking it up to the actual um, load. That is everything you will need to have an off-grid solar system. Thanks.